That's why my friend, I call him my friend, I better call him brother because me and him have the same father. His, his name is Yahushua. Yahushua said, ask for me and my house. Yes, I know you haven't talked to my wife. I know you haven't talked to my children or my servants. But I'm telling you, ask for me and my house, we're going to serve Almighty God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey. That's what's going to happen at my house. That's yeah. the See, but that's not dogmatic. That's not tyrannical. That's not being a uh, 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 healer or whatever you want to call them these days. That's just being a man. Yes. Taking the leadership position yes. of his house. Yes. Yeah, brother, I think I know he's the man of the house, but I make more money than him. So what? If you choose to be a wife, get in your position. I don't care how much you make. Uh -huh. Your position is to be with that man, to support that man, to follow that man. As he leads you to the, to the, to the throne, then get behind him. If he fall down, pick him up. That's your man. Don't talk about it. I'm going to kick him to the curb. Who is your father? Uh -huh. yeah. Come on. I asked the prisoners one time, I said, let me ask y'all a question. If you come home, I said, you love your wife? All of them said, yeah. The ones who weren't married, I, I, I changed it. I said, do you love your girl? Yeah. I said, really? I said, well, when you go home, there's another man in your house. <coughs> what you going to do? He said, somebody gonna die. I said, whoa, whoa. I thought you just told me you love her. Now you gonna kill her? Where's the love? That's what started my lesson that night. You know what the lesson was about? Love. Because it ain't much here on this plane called Earth. We got infatuation, we got lust, we got desire. But it ain't got no love. So I'm going to tell you all like this. Whenever and wherever you find true love, now, brother, what is true love? Because I think it's true love when he just grabbed me in his arms and tell me he loved me. And, and I think she really loved me when she cooked that first meal for me and, and served me my dinner. I think that's true love. Shut up. That has nothing to do with love. I said, okay, I'm going to tell you what love is. First John 4, 7, 8. He that never loved me, Lord, not Almighty Yah, for Almighty Yah is love. Yeah. Now, if you got Almighty Yah in your heart, love covers a multitude of sins. That's the word, isn't it? Yes, sir. So if you find this going on in your house, and your wife messing up, or your husband messing up, or your children cutting up, or whatever's going on, you got the love enough to overcome that. Get it back in line. Get it straight. Get it ready for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But if the devil is your father, mm -hmm. there's going to be a fight in that house and somebody just might die. Because mm -hmm. Satan is there. Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody today? Yes, sir. Preach, preach. Yes, sir. Paul said, imitate me. So Paul must have been following Torah. Yes, sir. Isn't that right? Yes. But see, to me, we got all these religions that come up from somewhere. I don't know who their fathers are, but they come up from somewhere, and they're leading you away from the commandments, leading you away from the feast days, leading you away from worshiping, leading you away from praise, and leading you to the collection plate. Mm. Mm. I, told, I told Brother Roland, I felt sorry for my wife last night. I really did. I'm sitting in my, in my room studying because that got me working, you know, so I had to go to my study and get some information. But I'm hearing her and I'm looking, listening at the, at, at the religious station over there. And, and I hear her say, Isaac, did you hear that? I said, I heard it, baby. Preacher and then talking about uh, atonement coming and, and tabernacles on the hill of atonement. And, and we got to get our, our seeds ready. Then I heard that man say, I want you to get 150 in one hand and 150 in the other hand and put them together and bring your $300 to you. She said, I didn't get you hear that. I said, yeah, baby, I heard that too. <laughs> and all 
was sitting there, kept on doing all this searching, he's searching, and all of a sudden the man said, and when tabernacles come, I want all of y'all, if you can, a, a, a thousand people to send a thousand dollars. And she said, I, I can't hear no more. <laughs> she turned it off. They were using my father's feast days to get money. Another lady praying. Oh, the prayer that will come to pass because you got to prepare to pray. You got to prepare to pray, and your prayers will be answered. All you got to do is sit into your telly, send $150 and get your telly. Never even saw a telly before. But now they're selling them for $150 a piece. Knowing they don't have to pay but $25 to $50. Are their fathers. My father don't require you to have a tally to pray. I got one. No, man, matter of fact, I got two. I don't get under that thing every time I need to pray. Because sometimes I'm driving and need to pray. Because somebody just cussed me and just flipped me the bird. I got to pray right then. Father, uh -huh. help me. Hold me. You my keeper, keep me. Keep me. <laughs> I ain't got time to put no talit on. I know y'all hear what I'm saying. You got to yeah. suffer. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> See, we, 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 we got to get our minds right. Uh -huh. <laughs> For all this stuff that's going on. So we got to imitate somebody. So since I got a man that came before me, a man that went through everything that he went through, I heard what he wrote. I didn't just read it. I heard what he wrote. Yeah. I'd have been stoned, uh -huh. thrown outside the city gate for days. Mm. Got up and went to Lystra and preached the word. Yes, I'd have been whipped three times with rods. Three. I'd have been shipwrecked for a day and a night. Mm -hmm. I'd have been snake bitten. Mm -hmm. My own countrymen took an oak and oh, swore that they would see me dead before they leave again. Still here. So I'm going to imitate him. And he still was holding on until he got Timothy right. And when he got Timothy right and ready, then he said, I'm ready to be offered up. I fought a good fight. I stayed my course and I kept the faith. I've done enough. Now I got to go and take me a rest from my labors. But look what he says here. Paul said, for this reason, I've sent, for who? Timothy. I sent Timothy to you. Who is that boy? He is my beloved and trustworthy son. Y'all see that? In the master. Paul said, that's my son. And I got some sons around here, too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm looking for some more because I ain't never got enough. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Praise his coldest name. He said, now what Timothy going to do is remind you of my ways in the Messiah. As I teach everywhere in every assembly. Paul said, when I'm fathering this one and fathering that one, I got one way of doing this and I'm going to to Timothy and I'm, I'm getting Timothy to come here to show y'all me. And when he showed y'all me, he showed y'all him. Because I'm imitating him, and I want Timothy to imitate me. And I want y'all to imitate me. Hallelujah. Paul knew who his father was. Yes, sir. Question to us today is, who is your father? Come on. Come on. Well, let's talk about our father. We're going to start off from the basics. We're going to start off talking about our we got to look at some of his DNA structure. What is he made up of? What, what, what kind of mindset did he have? Who, who is this that we call father? Where is he? Matthew chapter 6. And we're going to look at verse number 9. Matthew 6, verse number 9. He said, this then is the way you should pray. People, they want to know how to pray. Same question was asked over in Luke 11. Teach us how to pray. 
He said, when you pray, when you pray, I heard a man say, this is the Lord's prayer. Right then and there, I knew he needed to be taught. This is not the Lord's prayer. This is the prayer the Messiah taught his disciples. And this right here is a guide of how to pray. You can add to it, but don't take away from it. And we say, our Father, who is in heaven, let your name be set apart. Let your kingdom come and let your desire be done in the earth. Just like it's done in heaven. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. The Father's children pray that with meaning. Everybody else just pray that. Everybody understand that? What does it mean? My Father is not on this earth. He's in heaven. His name is sanctified, is hallowed, is set apart. What is his name? See, when, when, when Henry was living, excuse me, Dad, but when Henry was living, I wouldn't say Henry like that. <laughs> Mr. Henry. When he was living, and somebody said, who is your dad? Who is your father? I would say his name is Henry Williams Sr. Because I knew his name. Now, if I ask the average person on the street, what is your father's name? Most of them are going to say God. My next question is, which one? <laughs> there are many gods. Which one are you worshiping? But if I ask a child of the most high, what is your father's name? We ought to know it, right? Yes, sir. Now, see, she just told his name. Hallelujah. Nobody don't say hallelujah God. Or hallelujah Jesus. Or hallelujah Lord. All them are tongue twisters for me anyway. How many of y'all want his kingdom to come? Yeah. 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 Amen. See, when, listen, listen to that. Listen. If you want his kingdom to come, let thy kingdom come, why, Father, so that your will can be done yeah. on this earth just like it is in heaven. How many of y'all know there ain't got no back talkers in heaven? Ain't got none in heaven. And ain't got nobody raising their hand. Nobody, I got a question for you. Not one. Everybody in that kingdom of Almighty Yah is obedient to the nth degree. Yeah. Whenever he comes around, they bow and down on the ground. Yeah. They got some type of Malachim, Brother Ron, that's flying around his throne all day long. If yeah. you can call it day and night, but they flying around all the time saying, 